stretch. Fit. So as we go through this full meal prep footage that I utilize during the week, I want to explain my process and why I eat some of the foods I eat. As a plant-based athlete, obviously a lot of my foods come from non-starchy veggies. This includes broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower. Um, the list goes on and on, but these foods even though I'm carb conscious during this time while I cut, I do not limit these foods. I will need a whole different video to go into depth on complex carbs, your starchy versus non-starchy. But the biggest thing to take away is whole plant foods are great sources of complex carbs. Complex carbs are sugar molecules strung into long complex chains. Both your simple and complex carbs are broken down into glucose, which is used for energy. The starchy vegetables and whole grains, uh, potatoes, sweet potato, quinoa, rice, these are the ones that I manipulate for progress toward my goal as I near my show. Right now, I am carb cycling with three normal days and one high carb day. Carb cycling has been really effective for me so I am eight weeks out and all my cardio is less than 30 minutes per day. I'm doing high intensity interval training and steady state cardio. This is on top of five lifts per week. So my meal prep has only taken me about an hour and a half each week and the time it has saved me during the week has been phenomenal. I recommend it to everybody. So on the big debate on where I get my protein as a plant-based athlete, my three go-to's that I round out my meals with are tofu, tempa, I love seitan but I'm currently not using it for no reason other than I prefer the Beyond Meat chicken strips right now, which you've seen in my past video. Um, tofu for 85 grams, it's about 80 calories, 7.5 carbs, 2.5 fat, and eight grams of protein. Um, the Beyond Meat chicken strips for 150 grams, it is 215 calories, 10.7 carbs, about five grams of fat, and 35.8, that's almost 36 grams of protein. So this little gem that I have here is Tempa. Um, it's made from non-GMO soybeans, and a lot of people are really skeptical of it because of its looks, because of its texture, but it's delicious. And for four ounces, it's 188 calories, 13 carbs, six fat, and about 21 grams of protein. It's by far one of my favorite plant-based alternatives, kind of meat-ish product. Um, you add any kind of flavoring to it. I actually like mine without flavoring too as well. My meal three and in the back you'll see the two containers of extra stuff that I just keep for the week. So as you're prepping your food keep in mind the stuff that you are putting on your food. You want to keep your condiments to prep friendly flavors, seasonings, a lot of the ones that I use, Bragg's liquid aminos, any vinegar, lemon, salt, pepper, um, mustards, um, salsa, dry herbs, if you find something that you love during prep that's prep friendly, go for it. Eat what you like because consistency is key. Prep can be very difficult, especially when you're dieting. So one of the biggest things, as corny as it sounds, have a little hope. Don't give up, keep driving towards your goal, and remember why you started. I am in prep 
step. So I am measuring everything to a T. I have to be consistent. It's critical for progress while I cut. But if you're in your off season, eat intuitively. Find what works for you because life is about balance. So here's a little peek at my meal too. I do 85 grams of tofu, some non-starchy vegetables, and then I like to have a little fats mid-morning along with some greens. Um, I just throw that all in the container, make it kind of like a little flavorful side salad and give it a good shake when I'm ready to eat. One of the biggest benefits from being plant-based is eating so vibrantly that my micronutrients, although I keep them in mind, I still meet those requirements daily. As you see in my meal two and meal three, look how colorful that is. Um, I'm hitting everything that my body needs and I'm fueled properly. the biggest obstacles that I have during prep is my sweet tooth and I know there are a lot of people out there that feel exactly the same way and really struggle with it. So if you want one really awesome recipe that will give you volume and kind of satiate that sweet tooth, check out my website lw-saradavis.org for the recipe. It's really easy, super, super easy.